Andrew Ridgely is thinking back to the final time he saw George Michael before his passing. The 60-year-old singer-songwriter also recalls how he and Michael spent time together just before the latter passed away on December 25, 2016, at the age of 53. The singer-songwriter was speaking exclusively to people about Wham!, the new Netflix documentary that premieres on July 5. Ridgely describes how she and Michael would frequently connect over the Scrabble board, adding that Michael was a big fan of the board game, and we'd have regular Scrabble games. He continues, I was getting back at him for beating me up the week before. It brought us straight back to the heart of our friendship and competitiveness as kids. He and I both felt excited by the game. Sign up for People's free daily newsletter to receive updates on the greatest content available, including interesting human interest stories and celebrity news, so you never miss a story. In the English village of Goring on Thames, which is a part of South Oxfordshire, Michael was discovered dead at home. His boyfriend Fadi Fawaz found his lifeless body, an autopsy that was performed in the days after Michael's passing produced inconclusive results. In a statement at the time, the Thames Valley Police declared that Michael's death was unexplained but not suspicious. Michael's death was finally judged to be caused by natural causes after considerable more testing was conducted over the course of the following few months. Michael will be honored later this year in the Rock Roll Hall of Fame ceremony, which will take place on Friday, November 3 at Brooklyn's Barclays Center. The achievement is clearly a great privilege, and I'm sure that he would recognize it as such, Ridgely claims. He understood the significance of his peers' praise. Ridgely laughs and responds, what would I say to him, when asked what he would say to the deceased icon if he were still alive today? Oh, I guess we should go get a drink, wham. Premieres on July 5 on Netflix.